Before this scenario, the nurse has um, obtained her family history, um, her uh, medical history. She is now obtaining her um, physical assessment, and right now she's doing a finger stick, and she's going to go get um, the coverage necessary. But the whole point of this is to establish rapport and trust with the patient. Good morning, Estella. How are you doing today? I'm good. My name is Quetzal, and I'm going to be your nurse for, uh, for today. Um, one quick thing I need to do is I just need to check your blood sugars. But before I do that, how, how did you sleep last night? Okay. Okay. Um, did you have any, uh, do you have any pain right now or anything? Uh, nausea? No. no. Not too much? Okay, all right. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and check your blood sugar really quickly and see how you're doing, okay? All right. So just one more second. So this is something very important that you learn to do because um, especially when you go home, just in case you have to be checking your blood sugars and stuff like that, you want to make sure that you know what you're doing just in case um, you have to administer your own um, insulin, okay? Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started. How are you, how are you feeling? Are you feeling fine? Okay. Well, um, we already got your blood. We did your blood sugar. I got your result, and it was 215. So because I know, a little high. So because of that, we're going to have to give you four units of a regular insulin. So um, we're going to have to go ahead and do that. Why am I getting that? See, I've never done insulin before. Well, see, um, those are actually the physician's orders. So we, I have to go ahead and do that. But if you have any questions in regards to that, I'll be more than happy to call the physician, and he can come and talk to you about that, okay? All right, and um, do you have any pain or anything right now? Um, shortness of breath? No. No? Okay. All right, well, I'll be here for you if you need anything. Um, um, you have your call light available, so just make sure, like I said, if you need anything, let us know, and I, I will call the doctor um, immediately so he can come and answer your questions a little bit better, okay? All right, even if I'll see you in a bit. Your blood sugars have been running high last night, and this morning they were at 268. So I think we need to change your treatment plan. We are going to add lattice. This is a long-acting insulin that should help you. It kind of acts like your own hormone and it regulates. And in addition to that, you're already taking four units of insulin. We will be adding another four units, and this will be done between your meals. It's very important to understand the risk of diabetes. You have risk for diabetic neuropathy, altered nutrition altered electrolyte levels, so you need to understand that and be very compliant. I'm going to go back and check out your chart. If you need any help, you can call me. In this scenario, the patient was clearly overwhelmed by all the information that the doctor had given her. He used big words, and it was very difficult for the patient to follow the doctor. This is why, according to Imogen King, it's important for the nurse and the client to build rapport and to establish a good relationship for a better outcome of the patient's status. Hi, Stella. How are you doing? I'm all confused. I don't understand exactly why I have to get an insulin. I never done that. I don't know. I don't understand. I'm scared. I know. I understand. Especially being a new diagnosis, I, I can understand how you can be uh, very confused and frustrated. But uh, luckily, that's why we're here to help you. Um, uh, basically, what I'm going to do to help you understand more what's going on with your disease process, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, set up three simple goals for today that can really help you understand more what's going on and um, ultimately we can establish some good goals, okay? Okay. So in the previous scene, the nurse uh, set up three easy goals for the patient to follow. Goal number one is perform own glucose monitoring. Goal number two is name three signs and symptoms of hyper and hypoglycemia. And goal number three is state one group of foods to avoid. So now this is two weeks later and Estela is ready to be examined and see how she's doing with keeping up with her insulin and her Hi, new diagnosis. Estela, how are you? Hi, I'm oh, pretty good. I've been doing really good. I've been part of the way they 
in with the check my blood sugar, even the way I supposed to. And I feel really good. I've been doing exercise. I mean, follow everything. I really like all the information I was given from you guys. Yeah, you act normal. There are one twenty. Oh. So it looks like you have been following a good diet regimen, and you yes, have, I have. It, and you have accomplished all your goals that they set you that day. So I want to congratulate you. Thank you very much.